Mark, are you rolling? Yeah, I'm getting some B-roll shots right now. Dude, I got a poison frog over here. Come film this. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you catch it? Uh, yeah. It's going to move, though. Come up slow. Nope, it's going its pearl. I got it. You yes! It? Nice! Ha! All right, back up a little bit. Let's get some good light here. Check this out. Ready? Hold on a second. Let me get in focus. This hand. One. Two. Ta-da! Look at that little guy. That's a strawberry poison frog. All right, let's get it up here and get some cool shots. Hey, Mario! Check this out. Caught a poison frog. Run. There's Mario. What's up, man? This What's is up, super man? cool. So, right now we are on location on the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica, and there are poison frogs all around us, but they're very hard to catch. We've been hearing them all morning. Let's come over here into the better light. See, there's our jungle base camp right there. There it is. Mario was on his rocking chair there. <laughs> Just hanging out. <laughs> Literally in our backyard right now. This is so cool. And we are deep into the jungle, which means that there are animals all around us. But this is one of my absolute favorites. I'm gonna slowly open my hand. I might be able to get to just sit right there. Okay, you ready? Yep. Look at that little guy. Now, when we were on the West Coast, we did an episode with the granular poison frog, which is very similar looking to this one, but it has slightly bumpy skin. This, in my opinion, is the most famous species of poison frog the strawberry poison frog. It's also known as the blue jean poison frog because as you can see, those back legs, usually dark black or purplish in coloration, make it look as if it has on a pair of blue jeans. Look at how cute that little frog is. Man, its color red is really vivid. Right? Now, as we know, most poison frogs have bright coloration and that's called aposomatic coloration, which is a warning to any potential predator that I am toxic. If you eat me, it's gonna be a really bad day. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, Coyote, are you in any danger holding this specific frog? No, the toxins on the skin from this amphibian are not gonna do anything negative to me unless I were to lick or eat the frog. However, when I'm done handling it, just to be safe, I'm gonna head into the kitchen and wash off my hands with soap and water. So now, what does something like that little frog eat? I mean, it's so tiny. Oh yeah, that's a great question. Actually, it's the food that it eats that causes it to have the ability to create toxins that seep out through its skin. It eats small little mites and little bugs that it finds as it's rooting around in the leaf litter. I mean, a tiny little frog like this eats tiny little pieces of food. That is one adorable, yet toxic little rainforest jelly bean. Now, Costa Rica is so incredibly biodiverse. You have amphibians, you have reptiles, insects, and arachnids. We are getting some great content while we're here, guys. But if we were to come home with just a single episode, which one would you want it to be? Tell us about it in the comments section below. And remember, there are animals that have toxicity in their skin. There are animals with a venomous bite. And then, of course, there are also some that sting. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. If you thought that frog was adorable, make sure to go back and watch our episode with the granular poison frog. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next location.